Good night. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Now, let's get this year's Saints Day Festival of Montario underway. We will begin with a few words from His Eminence, Sanctifex Forden. Looks like Draco Dios hasn't left his side. Today is a day of great celebration. A day to offer up our thanks to God. But first, an announcement. Luis is dead. The royal family's murderer has been put to justice. Now much of the kingdom's trust lies with me. Even this king-defying lance is safe in my hands. I would not see further bloodshed in endless, futile conflict. Is it not past time for reconciliation and open dialogue as a newly forged nation? He's talking as if the race is already over. What about deciding the winner? All but a formality now, isn't it? His Eminence has the overwhelming majority on his side. Better to establish peace now and crown Sanctifex for them. No. He would end the tournament here and now. So he's just going to call the race while he's ahead? How convenient. But the throne's decided by the king, not this tournament. Forden only had to abide by that when he had Luis to compete with. If he ends this while he's this far ahead, we won't be able to reverse it. Oi! The game's not over yet, you cocky bastard! We only seek to submit to the will of the people. Though you would be wise to quit the race with all speed. Forden for the throne! Then we will finally have peace! Hail His Majesty Forden! Long live His Majesty Forden! Tell him. The people already believe him the victor! Tournament won or no, his dominance will soon be unshakable. Let's go. We reclaim the lance now! Now? Are you out of your mind? If he's going to keep it close to hand, we'll never have a chance to swap it out. We'll have to take it by force. We have no choice. If there really is no other way... <laughs> so you were after this lance all along. Loyalists indeed. How many more candidates must die by your hand? Oh, his muggler is horrific, distorted. It's sickening. What did you? How dare you, you pagan wretch! You would steal this holy lance for your own vile ends. That alone is treason against the kingdom, you filthy assassins. Assassins? Then we're in good company. That night. You were the one behind the attack on His Royal Highness. You framed Luis for your crime and banished him from the palace. Do you deny it? <laughs> Precisely the sort of baseless claims I'd expect from desperate sinners. Baseless, is it? In that case, shall we produce proof of your treason? <laughs> you waste your breath. What do your words matter now? The royal family is gone. Luis is dead. Only I remain. And only I am fit for the throne. You vile traitor! You call his eminence a traitor? Preposterous! The Sanctivex is incapable of such deeds! Your Majesty Fordham, punishment to the disloyal. Judge these ruffians with your divine lance! Behold, the flock has spoken. Those who defy me are to be executed. Before you die, know that I am in your debt for killing Luis and handing me the crown. <laughs> Del, what the hell's going on? I thought the prince's curse was supposed to be off. It's clearly not. The prince's assassination, the whole lot, 
It was all the Sanctists. It was all that bastard pulling the strings from the start. Wait. Is that... You! Identify yourself! <laughs> Who are you? We're at a festival. <laughs> Should we not be festive? <gasps> I've come to meet you. Forden. Reese. Impossible. How could you have survived? <laughs> not that it matters. It falls to me to finish the job, then. Coming here sealed your fate. Hell awaits, and this time I'll make sure you stay there. Face your divine punishment, Louise! But... but why? <laughs> it appears your sins outweigh mine. Well, what have you done? That lance is counterfeit, just like you. <laughs> this is the true lance. <sighs> you snake, Louis. Did he just... kill Sanctifex Forden? No. Impossible. Nothing to see here! The festival is cancelled! Cancelled! Tell... Lord Luis is... alive. What's going on? Good people! You have heard the truth with your own ears. Forden was the vile mastermind behind the Prince's assassination. For casting his sins upon me, for seeking to usurp the throne, I have passed due judgment. A tainted Sanctifex is unfit to rule. What's the matter? You seem lost for words. You... You came back to life? You believe me resurrected? <laughs> Even if I could defy death, I care nothing for the prospect. Then how? How are you alive? Forden's own attendant confirmed your death. Forden's attendant? You mean that fellow? No! Zorba? Back at the Grand Cathedral. I ordered the dead to recover my body if the need arose. I had always intended for Forden to die by my hand. And the first step in his downfall was Zorba's infiltration. Impossible. The lance pierced you through your very breastplate. It did indeed. And frankly, I'm still impressed. If you could land such a decisive blow against me. But I'm afraid fate was on my side, not yours. Mortal anatomy is my speciality. I knew at first glance that the wound was deep, but the heart was intact. Lord Luis is destined for far greater than this, so I devised a plan. I would proclaim his death and deceive both Forden and his flock. After that, it was simply a matter of magically regenerating his flesh overnight. <laughs> Only a fool would expect him to die in such a place. I could have emerged as soon as I'd healed. But where's the theater in that? Today is a day of celebration. The least I could do is offer a fitting death out of mercy. Why do you have the real Lance? Wasn't it supposed to have gone to Forden? We bit slow on the uptake, eh? I just told you, I was present for the inspection. It was hardly a difficult task to swap out your counterfeit. So you knew the truth of it? No. 
Have you always been ahead of us? Ever since the moment we thought Zorba dead? A holy lance, a convincing prop. What does it matter? Had I truly died, it would simply indicate that I was never fit for my ambitions. Power is the only true arbiter. Behold the proof. Forden lies dead, and the lance is in my hand, just as planned. You let us do as we pleased, even knowing the risks. You're insane! Indulge me a question. You stole the magic formula from me. Surely you soon learned that it was useless. That's why you then resorted to killing the caster. You were desperate to lift the spell. Is that not so? In other words, the curse's victim still draws breath. For that reason, you sought to kill me even amidst this competition, even with the difficulty of the king's magic in your way. So, his venerable highness, the prince, survived. Where is he? Speak or die. How quickly the Sanctus break rank and flee. Their flock left to die. This is Sanctism. <laughs> no! Stop him! Don't! value do they have to? It's not that! This is just wrong! It's wrong, me lord! I see. So even you two have faltered. thing in this world is power. With it, you can take whatever you want in this life. Or so I thought. Tell. But you know, if all the weak get left behind, who's left to protect them? <laughs> I've been an idiot. Sorry about that. <coughs> Stop talking, Tell. I see it, you know. Our little diner. Music in the air. It's grand. Look after Lady Juna. Uh. Huh? Hey! Tell? Tell! P 
pitiful. See what Brotherhood earned them. Ugh. Lord Louis. That's what it all comes down to for you, yeah? The strong are right, the weak are wrong. Doesn't matter what you were born into, there's fairness in that. We saw you as our hope. We thought that if you had a proper strong fella on top, he'd be able to put a stop to all the meaningless discrimination. But we had it wrong. You're no ray of hope. It doesn't matter to you. Killing anyone, it doesn't make you feel unclean. You... You're the kind of cold-blooded bastard we ate more than anything! Do not concern yourself with this peon, Lord Luis. With my newfound power, I shall tear them limb from limb! <laughs> this way! Guards, hurry! Step aside. You have important work to do. Hey! Seize the criminals who murdered his evidence! We didn't do it, but we should probably still run. Basilio, come with us! Shut up! What about Zell? You saw what that bastard did to him! I will not let you die in vain. Your brother didn't do this so you could get yourself killed. For now, please flee with us. Shut! Come, make haste! as well as could be expected. We wanted something nicer for his grave, but they told us something like that's reserved for Sanctus tradition. You can expect little else in Aldebri. I apologize for not being present. We've just gotten ourselves out of the public eye. If we had gone as a crew, worst case, we'd have been turned in. I wish we could have mourned him at his home. It had to happen in the lap of the Sanctus Church of all places. I hear the Parapists typically prefer a more joyful send-off. With singing and celebration. It's all right. Us soldier kids could never afford to be too picky. Tell you he couldn't choose where to snuff it. The fact that you were there, Lady Juna. That's enough for us. Basilio. Best to leave him be for a while. He's just lost the only family he had. By the way, have you checked the Farsight Mirror? The curse might be. Unfortunately, it still hasn't lifted. Guess that means it was someone other than Forden after all. But Forden brazenly admitted that he had been the mastermind. Luis was innocent of that crime, at least. Someone must have cast it at Forden's command. Unless we can find and kill them in time. Ugh, damn it all! We've more pressing problems at hand, don't we? Now Luis knows the prince is alive. Surely that's far from ideal. The village is deep in the forest. It's not an easy place to find, even if you're looking. Going to the prince's side could be dangerous. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. But even if we sought the real culprit, we no longer have any leads to follow. If I might make a suggestion, Perhaps we should visit my sister again. She may have some insight on the Sanctus Church's past, but that's tomorrow's concern. As for tonight, we could all use some time to rest our hearts and minds. Oh, look at you, kid. You look near dead yourself. Tell? Tell? What? <laughs> Seems you made it out in one piece, though. Are you alive? But back there, you... Don't tell me you pulled some bloody trick. Just like Luis. Bloody hell, Tell. I, I, I thought I... Basilio, sorry. 
From here on, you're taking the lead. But why? I can't without you, I'm... Tell, I only made it this far because I followed you. <laughs> Don't give me that. You're the strong one. Me, I never knew where I was going. Basilio, protect the weak. Swear you'll do it, not for me, but for yourself. If you can do that, I'll always be with you. Tell... Don't give me that look. Well, this one's goodbye for now. You ready? Let's hear it, Basilio. You fight, but why? Oh, Lord Star, ye grief-wracked brother. Oh, thou anguished traveler. Thy long stagnant stance have finally been broken. Now choose thy path. Not really a choice. It's back to the starting line. This time I'll meet. Ah, Del entrusted me with this chance. I've got to show him I've got this. Thank you. Thou hast chosen a noble parting. Oh, Lodestar, whose light reveals the king's own path. Henceforth, thy fears and insecurities are thy light. Awaken! See you around, Del. Magla flowing through him. I think it's the same as our power. <laughs> it's you lot from before. They want to pay their respects for Fidelio. not so bad. Thanks. By God, what in the world is that, Lance? It struck down Santifex Fallen right before our eyes. That's supposed to be impossible. And Luis made sure it was a bloody spectacle, before an audience even. The bastard is making sport of it. We must devise a plan. Otherwise, even if Luis does not sway our supporters, they may lose faith in the church. Before all else, we must choose a successor. But they need not share Forden's strength. I have brought her here. You requested an audience, assembled lords. Rella, we must ask your support. Let me be direct. 
we would like you to enter the tournament as a formal successor to his eminence, Sanctifex Foyle. This girl? She is your plan? Have you gone mad? I reject this proposal! If anyone is to succeed his eminence, it should be me, as his trusted right hand! See, sense. Strength alone means nothing. And without that, you have nothing worthy of the people's loyalty. <laughs> Rella, will you not speak? Surely you feel what they ask of you is beyond your station. Oh, well, that is... You are wise beyond your years, Rella. Surely you understand. What the lost children need now is not a righteous avenger, but a refuge from their fears. The people would flock to a saint who dwells among her people. Already many would rejoice to see you rule as queen. Vela, will you answer their call? I... this is all rather sudden. Of course, you would have our full support. Naturally, we will make arrangements so that the tournament's next round turns in your favor. Even so, I... I am unfit to be queen. <sighs> Allow me to clarify. This is not exactly a request. Would you rather have that tyrant Luis become king? Well... Hey, sounds like we've got big news. I just heard from the pack of Sanctists. I figured they'd shove someone up to take Forden's place. But where it is, it'll be Saint Rella. Gonna be an announcement tomorrow. The morning for Forden's barely started, and they're already lining up his successor. And Rella at that. Going for popularity over power, it seems. They're getting careless. Though, thinking about it, maybe it's a smarter choice than it seems. But, say Saint Rella wins against Louise, becomes proper queen and all gets to do what she wants. Doesn't that tidy this whole thing right up? No, this can't be her own decision. Just the idea of being queen would put her stomach in knots. The politicians must be trying to make her their puppet. Perhaps it was an order she could not refuse. This isn't good. Probably not the best time to talk to her either. But that's got to mean they're keeping the tournament going, right? Then they'll probably announce the next challenge once Rella's candidacy goes public. Either way, I don't like it. This is all escalating too fast for my tastes. All the support Forden had campaigned for will likely just go straight to Rella with hardly a dent. If Luis and the Sanctus Church are trying to reclaim the status quo as the two pillars of government, that'll be a tough lead to shake. After all, just lifting the curse isn't going to be enough to restore the prince to the throne. Indeed. Luis versus Rella. Front runner and runner up, with no ties to the royal family between them. Everyone will see plain that popularity is eclipsed royal right. His Highness himself will have to win this battle on the faith of the people, or his claim to the crown will never be acknowledged. Besides which, Luis now knows that His Highness lives. His whereabouts have not been discovered, but the Kingslayer will take up the hunt. So many obstacles. What do we do? <sighs> Well, I know one way to keep a VIP protected. A classic tactic, really. The military does it all the time. We use a body double. You're supposed to be a dead ringer for the prince, yeah? You mean he pretends to be the prince? That's absurd. You realize it's a capital offense to impersonate royalty. I'm in. As long as they don't find out. You can't just casually drop an I'm in on this. Adzel was right about you being mental. I think we could pull it off, though. The prince has been gone ages. Nobody's in a position to point out differences. Wait, just think about this. He's Elder, the royal family's Clamar, and have been for generations. His appearance would be the least of our worries. If I may. 
His Highness the Prince lacks the Clamart horns. Some rumors suggest it was not some miraculous feature of the Prince alone, but a mark of Elden blood. I've heard no confirmation either way myself, but at the very least, tis a tale any aristocrat is bound to have heard in passing. In other words, with an elder claiming the prince's name and a known royal knight to vouchsafe him, we'd have enough plausibility to shake the nobles to their core. Of course, all this means little, unless our double himself is willing. What say you? I am the prince. Was that believable? <laughs> Even this doesn't get to you? Sometimes I worry about you. Your resolve has been challenged many times over, and never have you strayed. I am humbled once more. I pledge my soul to this gambit. Good. Then we declare ourselves tomorrow, where this announcement's going to take place. Seems like the optimal place to make sure we're heard. Right then. Looks like I'd have to give the old girl a polish worthy of a prince. My cue as well. From here on, it's nose to the grindstone until my magnum opus is finished. Can't let the lad be the only one with his life on the line. Can we talk? Right. Well then... <sighs> What's this? All right then. Let's head there right away. What would you like? All right then. Let's head there right away. Hey! All right, then. Let's go. Get yourself a good deal here. Nice. 
have it. Now then. Fascinating. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. What now? I can use this.
All right. All right. What now?
Mate. to me. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. It's that boy candidate. The one who betrayed Luis or killed him or something. Hold on. I thought it was Sanctifex Forden who got killed. I think it's both. But hard to say what actually happened. I suppose it's true what they say about Elder. Disaster follows them like an ill wind. I couldn't get a read on what kind of reputation we had before, but it seems worse than I thought. Once we stand for His Royal Highness the Prince, that will surely change. We have to believe that. St. Vela is here. The rumors were true. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me, even in the midst of this turmoil. I am Rella Cygnus of the Crown Theocracy. The reason I ask that you all gather here today is so that I may formally announce my succession to his eminence the late Sanctifex Forden. I know not if I am worthy, but under the teachings of the noblesse, I am determined to become a worthy king, a queen of this land. The saint herself is to be our queen. Now we are safe. Glory to Sanctis. She went to just jump in mid-race like that. Everyone seemed pretty annoyed when Luis did it. The tournament's winner is not guaranteed to throw. Fairness was never really a fact. Whoever has the skill to exploit the standings will win. Listen to that roar. I think I underestimated my sister's popularity. Even from here, I can feel her aura of magic. I suppose that's to be expected if she's the land's best minchina. From the looks of it, she's perfectly situated to pick up where Forden left off. I object, Rella. You have no true experience in the political world. And you would rise to Santa Fe's Forden's heights. Be worshipped as he was. 
I refuse. I have been loyal to God and his eminence, Fortin, my whole life. I am the only one worthy of his legacy. Master Gido, truly, I do see the truth in your words. However, this is also the will of the Crown Theocracy. Friends gathered here, do you really believe such a person is fit to be queen? Once the nation has dissolved into chaos, it will be too late. Appoint me as champion of sanctism, and I will save you all. Hmm, not sure about that. We know your name, but honestly, you don't have much in the way of real accomplishments. The man has no charisma. If I had to choose, I'd rather follow Saint Well in all her glory. And they say Sanctifex Forden killed the prince, too. If that's true, then I don't know if I'd trust his closest vassal with the throne. Friends, I... I... Is that Luis's gauntlet runner? As usual, I find you all embroiled in pointless conflict. Wh what is your business here? For the sake of those mired in your endless, fruitless squabbles, I have come to propose we give truth to this competition. What truth? The people's eyes have been opened. This entire tournament is a self-indulgent travesty of the Sanctus Church's making. First the king, and now you dogs of God. Why do you teach the people lies? You preach the true understanding is mutual and blind to the balance of power. Ignorant, willful or otherwise, to the sin and weakness that your lessons breed. Face the truth. Our world is lawless, and your efforts have done nothing to quell the chaos. It is time we were judged only by our abilities. Victory means nothing unless won by skill, and it is no less true for the throne. Skill? What skill would you put on display? I see no more reason to forbid the killing of candidates. You would have the race decided by violence. And I suppose you believe yourself capable of personally reversing the king's magic? <laughs> Impossible. Oh, king! You have witnessed our trials, have you not? You have seen a divine relic used to defy your shield and claim lives! <sighs> the lance rests in my hand. With its power, my victory is assured. But surely you would not see the race decided by such injustice. And neither would I. I will not give voice to the lie that this world is subject to any god's reign. Would you, O oh great king? What is his aim? If he has the key to certain victory in his hands, why cast it aside? <laughs> Never takes what he doesn't win. That's Luis to the core. He means every word he says. When you're clawing up from the bottom and you hear him talk like that, you can't help but dream. And then you never realize only a madman claims lies and contradictions won't exist in their world. Should we school your burn? What manner of life has this man lived to make him such a creature? He says that, but with that lance, he could kill any candidate he pleases, couldn't he? He killed Sanctifex Forden and now threatens Saint Rella. No! Your late majesty, please speak! Do not fear, my people. Even should Luis claim all the power he desires, I will not be so easily conquered. Even should our nation dissolve into anarchy, I will always stand to defend you. Sister... I expected little else of Forden's loyal pet. It seems there is more to the saint than vapid, empty benevolence. Come, O King! There can be no more doubt! The masses desire a truly fair battle! One waged without your shackles! Be this thy course. Thou wouldst rule by strength alone. He's talking! Like when he first rose. 
I killed Forden. Yet has my standing fallen at all? Surely you would know. This petty race limps. While the land is further flooded with anxiety and monsters. You have left us an age of strife. You are powerless to stop it. And in your place, fool king, I will restore the balance and right this land's wrongs. So be it. They who remain seeketh a clash without hindrance. Very well. Now and hereafter, my magic shall no longer protect thee. Face <laughs> this as a trial renewed. If ye would be a true king, that I bid thee prevail. You see that light just now? The magla flow surrounding the candidates has disappeared. The protection of the magic is no more. <sighs> And this lance of dragons is no more than an antique spear. Children lost in Sanctism's shadow! The fog of deception has finally cleared! There is no God! Think hard on your salvation, and whether you'll find it in prayer. No. He would even deny us our prayer? It's true. His Majesty has broken the spell. If it has come to this... You know it was not I who laid the Prince low. Which means that if you oppose me still, it is for the throne, and nothing more. I can finally face the real you. <laughs> A near-death invalid has no place upon the throne. The mere suggestion is ludicrous. You do well to follow the King's example, and abandon the folly of your ideals. To cast aside all we've fought for would accomplish nothing. We too strive for a vision. Luis, you will never take the throne. The rightful heir stands before you. Look upon our candidate and know his true claim. He is the legitimate son of his late majesty, King Hithlodius V, last heir to the throne of Ucronia. His Highness, the Prince himself, has risen to vanquish evil. For his people, he defies the pain and suffering of the curse he endured. His Highness the Prince? What? That's a lie. His Highness? He has already passed. His Highness the Prince. <laughs> They're mad, the lot of them. That boy's an elder. Indeed he is. It is the very proof you seek. Anyone who truly knows His Highness himself will see what this means. Indeed, there is no denying it. Rella? Sister? I saw for myself when I personally treated His Highness. They'd warned me against revealing it to the public, but the time for discretion is past. His Highness the Prince has Elden blood coursing through his veins. His Majesty told me that the boy's birth mother was an elder woman. The Prince was an elder? Enough of this absurdity. <laughs> The Prince! A bold gambit, to reveal yourself before both Rella and I. Indeed, I have no retort. After all, he's been dead so long. Nobody could say otherwise. Fine then, so be it. This marks the true battle between those who would fight for
for the throne. Wouldn't you say, Your Highness? <sighs> Face your unworthy ideals and come to terms. I shall wait at the royal capital to meet the one left standing. Forden's legacy is rightfully mine. It won't be long before this conflict turns violent. Do you really think you have what it takes to fend off Luis? You were head of the guards and you failed to protect Santifex Forden. Are you on to talk? Please step down. And you think yourself my better, do you? If it's a contest of strength you want, we can settle that right here. My magic. Nothing's happening. What's going on? Please, do not cause further distress to the devout. I ask once more, stand down. Did you see that? Those were thorned vines. But that's... Sister. Children of God, I know the burdens you bear. I see the fear and anxiety that weighs heavy upon you. But rest at ease, my beloved citizens. Sanctism is and shall ever be your fortress. Know that I will protect all of you. Pray with me now. Closure. She's right. Saint Rella can even heal our country. As long as we believe in her, we shall know peace. Saint Rella, Saint Rella, a uh, closure. Be careful, I sense Magla. There's something beyond rhetoric in her words. There is definitely magic there. Sister, what have you done to everyone? I'm lifting their fears and anxieties. I can take yours too. With enough devotion, you can lock your anxieties away and they shall never trouble you again. Sanctifex Forden saw sanctism as only a tool, a means to exploit the people, abuse his authority, and mask injustice as piety. And yet, even then, did this twisted form of sanctism save no unfortunate souls? What makes salvation true? Luis claims that there is no God, that true equality is only earned in pitiless competition. Are the believers fools to fear his words? Saint Rella. I will save the people of this land in the truest sense. They shall live with no worries, no anxieties, now and forevermore. But through magic? You forced the fears out of their very hearts. Tis no salvation to strip them of free thought. Perhaps not, but this country has bled them of it for too long. Besides, what makes you any more fit to speak of rightness? <laughs> you claim he is the prince. The real prince is surely at death's door, isn't he? After all, your efforts did nothing to lift the curse. I've told you before. The Prince's curse was crafted to perpetually draw upon the caster's magic. I know he suffers, because I yet live. Wait. Surely you can't mean... No. You healed His Highness. It was only by virtue of your presence that he survived that night. Oh, was I not clear enough? Allow me to clarify. On that night... It was my back that your blade carved across. <gasps> this is 
isn't good. There's magic flooding this place. Keen senses indeed, to be capable of seeing all this. No! Why? Sister, you can't have! You were only twelve summers old then. I was. And Luis was only a boy. All the better for any witnesses to suspect him of the crime. Yet I was interrupted in casting. What would have been a fatal curse became something unorthodox and incomplete. A spell with no formula. Even I could not dispel it. All you can do now is kill the caster. As heiress to the Sanctus Church's legacy, I will never hand over the Royal Scepter. Not to Luis, nor to you. Juna, I will await you amidst our dearest memories. Find me where the failures of the Sanctus Church lie buried. A place I'm sure you know well. Isn't that a... Halt! I will not let you escape. You've ruined everything. The church, my authority, everything. You will never leave this city alive. I am Guido of the warrior monks, and in God's name, I condemn thee! Technology near us. It's time. After that drop, I thought we'd die even if we didn't crash. <sighs> now that we're past the worst of it, it's actually smoother than I thought. A bit of faith, my dear? You're telling me that tiny patch is the city? <laughs> it's like a child's toy. Seeing it like this, it's easy to imagine the people as little dots. Huddling together in fear. Phew, that was terrifying. I'm just glad it flew okay. 
don't you think? <laughs> I always knew Nurse could make it work. Only because you're as bold and big-headed as I am, what? <laughs> really, old boy, I'd not be here without you to give me the push I needed. Thank you. So, about our next move. We must pursue Saint... Pursue Rella as soon as possible. His Highness is running out of time. Where did she say she was going? Where the failures of the Sanctus Church lie buried? My guess is... the Mage Academy. Or what remains of the place. Nobody goes near it now. I was a student there myself once. You don't say. No wonder you're so knowledgeable about magic. For a dropout, I suppose. The Royal Mage Academy, then. Was known as the finest school in the kingdom for magic research. Lady Judah, I've got to ask, what was Saint Rilla like back in your school days? The way she was acting earlier, all cold. That the real hair? No, it can't be. I don't. I don't want it to be. Maybe I just never knew the real her. That was the first I've ever seen her like that myself. <sighs> I keep thinking, if she'd just quietly taken over for Ford and we could have helped each other out. Even if she inherits the Sanctifex's authority, she's nothing like Forden. She'd never want to hurt anyone. That's not her. I thought she wasn't like that. Now she's saying she was part of this conspiracy? She attacked the prince? No, it doesn't make any sense. Then we've got to get to her, fast as we can. We know where she is, yeah? You just gotta tell her everything you just told us. That would be prudent, yes. But Captain, a reef for your thoughts, lad. If she is truly the culprit, then the curse will persist so long as she lives. This means we will have to kill her. Are you up to the task? Yes. I'm prepared for that. Juna, would you prefer to stay behind? I can't afford to. If, look, if at the last minute I can't face it, then you can leave me where I stand. I'm prepared enough for that. Lady Juna. What's the matter? It's plain to see something's bothering you. Oh, no. It's nothing specific. It's just that... Something's felt wrong somehow. Ever since I sensed the Saint's Magla. I'm sorry, it's hard to explain. Please pay me no mind. Hmm. Let's see. 